greatest musicals. Uh, yeah, good. That would, oh, yeah, that's gosh. true. Yeah, that'd be a popular oh, opinion. Pick one, Tara. <laughs> Which one would you choose for a better musical? Uh, the Greatest Showman. Oh, Ooh. that's so fantastic! Yes, mm -hmm. I didn't really care for The Greatest Showman because you're you're messed up in the head. And I love <laughs> musicals. Oh. I think because I watched it on an airplane on a tiny screen, I think I need to yeah. enjoy it, you know, on an, on an actual TV. Yeah, you need to watch it on a big screen with a lot of people. Sure. Do you know what else she didn't like? Jill also didn't like Les Mis when the movie version of Les Mis came out. I hmm. loved the stage version. Yeah, the movie was great too. It was fantastic. It was it all like sweet. in one take. Oh. We just got another text here from our friend Benny, who works at the Pantages. He said, Jill, you're out. Terry, you're in. <laughs> Jill's sort of been the <laughs> ambassador. And uh, that's right. From Justin to Kelly, it's just such a fun movie, and the music is so good. I that, no. no. Yeah, there you go. Just end it like that. No. <laughs> <laughs> Tara, thanks for calling in. Have a great day, okay? Thank you. You too. All right, love. Bye bye. <laughs> It is Valentine in the morning. Let me say good morning to Danny. Hey, Danny, how are you doing? I'm great. How are you guys? We're doing fantastic. So what is your unpopular opinion? I do not like Tiger King. I don't understand the hype around it. Yeah. Have you watched Tiger King? Did you watch it? Um, I did. I tried to watch yeah. two. Well, I got through two and a half episodes. And that's what everyone said. Get through the first one and you'll be fine. Or through the second. Yeah. And so I got two and a half in and I just... I, I couldn't. I couldn't do it. I. I don't know. I felt bad for the animals. I. I love the animals. I don't know. I yeah. Just I didn't understand why everyone's so obsessed with it. That was my review, too. I thought it was a depressing show about bad people. And I, I do really think it benefited from quarantine, from everybody 
you know, kind of needing something to watch collectively together. That just happened to be the first thing there that everybody was talking about. So then everybody watched. Um, but uh, I thought it was depressing. I didn't love it, but I kept yeah, watching it because right. everybody else was watching it. Yeah. And so I did, and I finished the entire thing. I didn't watch it at all. I refused to uh, do it. Look at you. Yeah, I a leader. I, I thought it was going to be a joke at the end somewhere, where it's the whole Carol thing, and I was like, okay, did she kill her husband? Did she feed him to the tigers? But <laughs> I, I kind of skimmed through and like read things online, and I just, I, I don't know. Like, well, let's not give away what happened, because I, I might watch it one day. I don't know here. <laughs> By the way, right now, Danny, outside of my house, there's somebody driving slowly. This is going to be like real, real stuff happening right now on the radio. They may be picking up a chair, an old chair, that I placed on my sidewalk. Now listen. Oh, you put stuff on the free, on the free sidewalk, huh? Yes. Are... A lot of people, you know, the car chases aren't happening as much anymore. And there's a lot of stuff that, uh, you know, we're, we don't get to see on TV anymore because there's nobody out there on the roads as much. But right now, mm -hmm. somebody is taking a picture of a chair on my sidewalk making a decision as we speak they're in a white suv as a matter of fact making a decision whether or not to pick up that chair huh this is what radio was made for maybe they're out there maybe they're out there listening to the show and they will fall asleep listening to that story before they have a chance to get the chair <laughs> Danny, don't laugh at that don't laugh at that Danny. It's a valid point, okay? No, it's not a valid point. Go watch Tiger King again. <laughs> you can't trust yourself for any reviews. You're reviewing the show and Tiger King. Oh, my gosh. No. You guys are my favorite. Well, thank you, I listen all the way from Phoenix, so. Oh, oh yeah, Phoenix. Oh, so that's great. You're on iHeartRadio. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Yes. Well, I, yeah, well I'm from, uh, we just moved here from San Antonio about a year ago. Okay. So, uh, but I still listen every morning and. You guys are like my my yeah. little my online best friends. So. What do you guys use? Is it a, like an Alexa or a Google or a Siri or how do you listen to us? Um, I just listen on the iHeartRadio app on my iPad. Oh, fantastic! <laughs> Thank you for that. Appreciate it. Yeah. Well, listen. Have a great day. Stay tuned to find out if that little blue chair in the sidewalk gets picked up or not. <laughs> when we come back, Can't wait. I know it's Valentine in the morning. Here's what's coming up in Hollywood headlines. Does Taylor Swift have an announcement coming on May 8th? I'll tell you what fans think based on a tweet right after traffic. Grocery outlet bargain markets. Welcome to Bargain Bliss. Three things you need to know right now. Governor Newsom says that allowing child care centers to operate will be part of the first phase of reopening for California. He also cautioned that life will not return to normal without a vaccine. Some retail locations that are able to offer curbside pickup could be weeks away from reopening. Many parks and trails could be reopening soon as well. Employees of large companies like Amazon, Instacart, Walmart, and Target are planning a walkout strike on Friday. Participating workers will either call in sick or walk off during a lunch break. There have been several strikes and protests during the coronavirus pandemic, with essential workers calling for safer conditions and more protective equipment. This is the first strike, however, to involve employees at several major companies. There is a growing initiative to urge financially stable Americans that have received a stimulus check to donate it to those in need. So far, the website, pledgemycheck.org, has received nearly $90,000 in donations from across the country. The message on the front page of the site reads, if you're in a stable financial situation, consider pledging part of your $1,200 stimulus check to neighbors affected by COVID-19. Every little bit helps. If you can, if you can give back at any point to anyone who's in need, it's always a good thing. There you go. Those are three things you need to know. Valentine in the morning. 104.3 My FM. You're part of the AAA family. And we understand saving money and peace of mind are your top priority. So AAA is refunding $125 million to our current auto policy holders. AAA has been part of the community for over 100 years. As part of that commitment to our community, AAA is donating $1 million to the United Way COVID yeah. relief efforts and offering free roadside assistance to medical workers and first responders. For details, visit AAA.com. AAA insurance is underwritten by the Interinsurance Exchange of the Automobile Club. To our Ralph's associates, from the long hours and late nights, for the miles traveled and the shelves restocked, for making a difference in our customers' lives. Everyone at the Kroger family of brands and our customers say thank you. Ralph's, fresh for everyone. And through May 12th, you'll earn four times the fuel points on gift cards for Mother's Day. Just download your digital coupon. Restrictions apply. 
Ralph's, fresh for everyone. Plenty of sunshine and patchy clouds with temperatures mostly in the 80s. You're looking at 89 for a high today in Northridge. This report is sponsored by Lowe's. Because this is a radio commercial, we can't show you...